Do you know that your mind is your best doctor and it is so powerful that it can cure your physical and mental illness without any medicine? Please note, this is not any pseudoscience. In this video, I will show you many researches and experiments that have been done so far to prove it. It has been demonstrated in many experiments conducted on patients that programming the subconscious mind in right way, belief and love has the potential to cure diseases. Here I will also discuss how a fake medicine or fake treatment can trick your mind and provide the same effect as that of a real treatment. This is known as the placebo effect. Do you know that almost all diseases are psychosomatic? which means it involves both body and mind. Nearly all physical diseases have some mental connection. Even the diseases that seem to be physical are also closely associated with the mind. As we know, our body and mind are very closely linked. Whatever we think has deep impact on our body. It means we can control our body just by controlling our mind. Here we will understand how our thoughts knowingly or unknowingly affect our physical and mental health and how we can change our thinking pattern or trick our mind to produce desired effects. Let's start the video with an incredibly interesting experiment. A large study was done in Oxford University in collaboration with other renowned universities on role of mind in curing diseases and reducing pain. A patient who was suffering from severe pain was injected with morphine. Please note that morphine is one of the strongest painkiller. But while injecting the medicine, the patient was told that we are not giving you any painkiller. It's not going to relieve your pain. It is actually a vitamin that will help you in curing your disease. The researchers were surprised when they observed no relief in pain of the patient, though the patient was actually given such a strong painkiller intravenously. To confirm the experiment, the researchers this time introduced simple saline drip into the patient's body. But they told the patient that we are giving you the best painkiller available known as morphine and your pain will go instantly. Would you believe the simple saline drip did the magic? The pain was gone in no time because the patient believed it to be morphine. But how did this happen? The researchers were curious to know how the mind can neutralize the effect of real morphine and relieve pain just by introducing saline drip. To find this out, they repeated the same study with fMRI. fMRI stands for Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging. fMRI measures the brain activity by detecting changes associated with the blood flow in the brain. Actually, when a brain area is more active, it consumes more oxygen. Therefore, to meet this increased demand, blood flow increases in the active brain area. Hence, fMRI is used to measure changes in the blood flow in the brain. So, fMRI was done. In the repeated experiment, while giving morphine, the patient was told that he was given a vitamin. His mind strongly believed that the medicine was not any painkiller. It was simply a vitamin. So, his brain slept and that his specific brain area did not activate. It actually did not respond to the strongest painkiller. Therefore, the patient did not notice any pain relief. In the second case, the patient was given saline drip but was told that it's the best painkiller available. Because of his strong faith in doctor, the forebrain produced strong opioids and the pain disappeared almost instantly. Now, you tell me what relieved the pain? Medicines or the patient's mind? Obviously, the mind. Mind has the potential to cancel out the effects of strong medicines and can change a fake drug into real drug. This is called as the placebo effect. If you think that placebo effect can only work at the mental or hormonal level, then let me tell you, the placebo effect can go beyond this. For this, keep watching the video. 
according to a study, even the bypass surgery also has placebo effect. In an experiment, a patient was taken to the operation theater and was given anesthesia. When the patient woke up, was told that you had a wonderful successful surgery. You can go home now. The patient too experienced that everything was okay. Although no surgery was done, but the patient was made to believe in it. After one year, the patient was scanned. And surprisingly, it was found that the blood supply came back to the heart. The body itself created a bypass for the blood flow. This is the miracle of mind power. In many cases, the mind itself can cure the body without the need of a doctor or medicine. It has been found that the placebo effect is most effective in pain management, depression, nausea, insomnia and other symptoms modulated by the brain. Although it can cover large number of mental and physical diseases that also include even the bypass surgery of heart as shown by the results of the experiments. But I would say the secret power of mind is the area of study that needs to be explored further. Now I will explain how the negative way of thinking actually affects our mental and physical health and how it is possible to heal it with the right programming of subconscious mind. You will find something new in the video so please keep watching till the end. It has been estimated that an average human body contains nearly 30 trillion cells. Cell is the smallest structural and functional building block of our body. There are many single-celled organisms like amoeba, euglena, paramecium, etc. that live their life independently. These are single cells living their lives. So in other words, we can say we as a human being are a colony of nearly 30 trillion organisms living together in harmony. So when you say yourself I, you actually refer to a very large colony of 30 trillion independent cells working in cooperation like a civilized society. So I actually means V. Your I points to a collection of 30 trillion cells which is thousands of times bigger number than the total population of humans on earth which is just nearly 7.9 billion at present. But why I am telling you all this? Listen carefully. When a person is happy and loves others, his cells are also happy and healthy. When we have love and compassion for others, trillions of cells of our body also love each other. Our body cells love the cells of other person's body equally. Now suppose you hate others and try to damage them somehow. You constantly have the feeling of a strong hatred for others. The negative programming of the subconscious mind confuses the cells and they become enemy of their own body cells. Because of this, the immune system of the body starts to attack own body cells, which is known as the autoimmune disease. It has been found that autoimmune disease can be corrected by pure love for others. By developing a feeling of unconditional love and compassion for all, a right positive message will be transferred to the cells and the immune system of the body. Hence, the patient with autoimmune disease will start to recover. This is the power of love. Love is the strongest medicine. An African-American minister, Malcolm X, rightly said, When I is replaced with V, even illness becomes wellness. In enlightened state, a person reaches to the highest level of consciousness known as the superconscious state of mind. The enlightened state is also called as the egoless state. Although the word egoless may not sound that impressive, but do you know how fantastic and blissful it is to be in egoless state of mind? In the egoless or selfless state, the distinction between you and me disappears completely. The enlightened being sees himself or herself in others, whether it is living 
or non-living. He feels that he is present everywhere and in everything. He realizes that everything in the universe is interconnected. He showers his unconditional love on everyone. Therefore, all cells of his body dance in love and joy. He lives a blissful life. Now, let me tell you how we unknowingly invite many diseases and they get attracted towards us although we don't want them. You might have seen some people who are so afraid of diseases that they waste lots of their time in thinking or discussing that disease with others. Although they don't want the disease, but because of this phobia and constant thinking about the disease, they unknowingly start to attract that disease. They unintentionally wrongly program their subconscious mind to attract diseases. Do you know that your body reacts to whatever you think? Your body quickly responds to your each thought. When you remember any painful incident or face of the person whom you love or hate, it instantly triggers electrical signals into your body. Your negative thoughts can weaken the immune system of your body. It can disturb the functioning of friendly bacteria found in your guts. Your digestion is directly linked to the pattern of your thoughts. You can find many books on how closely your mind and intestine are connected. So, the solution is just not to be obsessed with that disease. Don't allow the disease to linger in your mind and dominate you. Be strong and get ready to face it. Don't discuss it too much with others. It will strengthen your immune system and will help to fight against the disease in a better way. Now, I'm going to tell you an interesting story. One of my friend was suffering from a disease. Obviously, he wanted to get rid of it. But with time, he realized that this disease can be used as an effective weapon to avoid many responsibilities. Then, he started to use the disease as an excuse. In other words, he started to love his disease unknowingly. His subconscious mind was programmed not to fight with the disease. And guess what? He is still suffering with that disease. Now, let me cover one more topic here. What do you think? What is better, being theist or atheist? Should we believe in God or not? Does the God exist or not is another matter. But I want to discuss here, should we have faith in any God or deity? How believing in God can make our life easier and healthier? We have now seen many studies that show how our faith can affect our mental and physical health. There are hundreds of thousands of different gods and deities in the world. Everyone believes in his or her own God. The psychological effect of the belief system can play an important role in curing many diseases. We have seen the power of belief in the experiment where the patient believed the doctor who was giving him morphine. Surprisingly, the belief actually changed the reality and created another reality according to his belief. It clearly shows the power of faith cannot be underestimated. When we believe in God and pray to get rid of our diseases or miseries, it actually works, depending on the level of your faith. Actually, we cannot say whether the God helps you or not, but because of the belief in God, you start to feel like everything gonna be alright, even when everything has finished. So, you never get disappointed. Your mind becomes so strong that you can handle the difficult situation easily. Your immune system becomes stronger and you start to recover faster. But what happens when you are an atheist? In this case, when you find yourself in a trap, you get hopeless completely. You don't believe in any miracle when you have lost your health or everything. Therefore, believing in God actually helps you to come out of the difficult situation when things are not in your control. Friends, hence it is clear that cure is possible with the power of mind, without any medicines or doctor in most of the diseases. 
I hope you found the video interesting and informative and learned something new. Please like the video and share it for the benefit of others. Please comment what do you think about this video. Thanks a lot for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then bye bye and take care.